All right. Good evening, everyone. Hopefully everyone's having a good one today. It's Sunday, June 4th. We are going to be doing some more Pokemon Stadium this evening, seeing if we can keep chipping away at the Gym Leader Castle for round two. It's been a massive pain so far. Trying to get through it. My stomach's actually turning a little bit just because I know how much of a pain in the butt it's going to be. Because we're going to be doing the Elite Four today. Oh, geez, the Elite Four. And you just know that they're not going to have any Pokemon that match their typings. So, let's go ahead and get this up and running. Where the heck's the end to go? Here it is. Alright. Go ahead and pop this game in. There we go. <clears throat> We're doing pretty nifty with everything. Almost beaten both of the Pokemon games that I'm playing through. Almost beaten blue and yellow. Let me make sure that my audios are correct. That's not what I wanted. No, last time we were having some audio lag, so uh, if you guys detect any lag, let me know. Looking for my audio properties here. Feel like it's off. There's one easy way for me to know. <laughs> yeah, this audio is pretty off. I don't know why it does this. We offset it by about that much. Though I think once I do that, I have to, uh, where is it? Got to deactivate the card and reactivate it. A little better. Let's do... Oh, jeez. Let me do that and see if it's a little better. Might be a little bit more intense, I don't know. Let's see? A little better. Whoa. Alright, that's a lot better, I think. At least it's not super duper off this time. Alright. The music's gonna be different now. But just to double check. No self destruct with the last Pokemon. No to Pokemon asleep. No level restrictions. Open to all 151 Pokemon. If only we had Mewtwo, but then all the Pokemon would be level 70. I'm wanting to mess around with this and see if I can uh, lower the latency even more. There should be nothing right now.
Wow, I think uh, it's lining up pretty well now. Or I could be wrong entirely. Do you have to offset it? We can't go above that amount, really? Let me see something else. Maybe this is going to be completely off, I feel like. Oh boy, that is, <laughs> that is really off. Okay, no, yeah, it's definitely gonna be like this. All right, that should hopefully align a little better. What up, One Piece Slayer? I was just trying to see if I could align the audio a little bit better here. I think it's a little bit better now, battle. It's not perfect, but it is better, I feel like. Do 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 We gotta defeat all of these lovely individuals: Lorelai, Bruno, Agatha, and Lance. Oh boy! I'm not nervous, not one bit. Yeah, we have a new Pokemon in the fray here, as you guys see. Upon the request previously to see about leveling up. A Mew that's uh, relevant. A little more powerful, so to speak. I'm going to add our staples that have been working for us so far. And then we'll goof around a bit with the uh, potentials here and usually we go with Alexam did you pick rentals did I now you made me nervous we're, we're doing this from scratch <laughs> Jolteon gonna go to our party and pick up Venusaur we're gonna come back to box 10 and we're gonna pick up Charizard. Or do I want Executor instead? I don't know. Do I want, do I want Executor or do I want Venusaur? I think I want Executor maybe. And Charizard. Gyarados has been treating us fairly well. Then we have our good old pal Alakazam over here. And Tauros. But... Drop them both of who? Man, we could. We do have a sweeper meal that we can use now that has body slam and earthquake. And soft boiled, so it can heal itself. We're gonna exchange them. This would be the Sweeper Mew, by the way. Comes out, the Swords Dance, soft boils the damage, and then begins using Earth Body Slam and Earthquake as necessary. But if that's something that we may want to add, it's there. Other than that, we don't have a whole lot of new additions. These are just competitive Mews that I've made. Thank God for that uh, link cable nonsense way back when. So if we're swapping people, Healy should know for who. Alright, 
try what we have for now. I guess we can try. We won't exchange any Pokemon then. And here we go. First up is Lorelei. How many ice Pokemon are you gonna have? One whole ice Pokemon. And of course it's an Articuno. A lot of that seems to be potentially weak to electric, so I think Jolteon's probably a safe bet to come out. It's probably going to be Jolteon, Alakazam, and Tauros, I think. I did not, I forgot. Expected. Uh, should we lead with a thunder wave and then begin thunderbolting? But will it be paralyzed? Oh, it knows toxic. Of course it does. Oh, toxic! A move it failed. Alright, thunderbolting it to, to smithereens. There it goes. <laughs> Super effective and a crit might go down. Yep, it's going down. The game, I don't want to use all my luck right at the beginning now. Which Pokemon is coming out? How will the type difference affect that? Yeah, I figured we would so T wave it. Battle What's that? Let me know if the audio's off again. I was messing around with the settings to see if it would uh, stay. It's oh, paralyzed it's paralyzed on the spot. I don't want to use all my luck on Lorelei now. What now? What the week? What's this? The poison Everything she has knows toxic. What? Am I actually Stop facing lying. Agatha? Is that what's going on and the game just didn't tell me? Should I bother with the T-Wave? I feel like I should. The remaining Pokemon count is 3 to 1. The battle has become one-sided. I feel like it's gonna have its own T-Wave. Go for the Thunderbolt. Alright, we'll do the T-Bolt. What'll it do? Got Psychic. All right, so Lorelei is down. And there goes the battle. Jolteon did pretty good work. And Jolteon, uh, if we end up losing along the way, then uh, we have to swap anyone out. Jolteon is definitely staying on the team. All right, Bruno. What was it? Brock and fighting or something? At least you have some fighting types. So he's got a Machamp, a Muck, a Hitmonlee, and a Rhydon that I think could potentially go down with the Psychic, so maybe Alakazam's a safe lead this time. I 
Executor, Alakazam, and whatever. So I'll go with Tauros. The next adversary is Bruno. He is one rugged opponent. Should I go for the Solar Beam or should I go for the Psychic? like psychic and solar beam are both gonna take two turns anyway right so should i just go psychic and psychic they strike fighting poses i agree here's the first move everything Which forever at this rate probably oh it's flipping how will the type difference affect that what's that the special stat is that yes it's got ice beam and I'm frozen. How will this freeze affect the outcome? Uh the combatants face each other. It's frozen rock salt. What'll it do? There, it's a hit. The heated battle rages on. We gotta let him go down. Oh, it still can't move. Body slam. That's a good hit. Wow, going down. Oh, is that the first ice beam of the that game? The like period. Pokemon walk. And we got instantly frozen. Pokemon is backing down. What's this? Yeah, it's a hit. Body slam did not do as much as I was hoping for. Oh, but they get the crit. Neat. Fireworks are flying in this battle. Opinion. I don't think another body slam is gonna take it down. Body, do you think of KO? Oh, I guess it did. I really thought it would live by like one or two HP. There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. Oh boy. Hitmonly. The remaining Pokemon. To a YOLO and uh. Hyper Beam. Yeah, I'm gonna Hyper Beam. Oh, it's a crit. Did not. All right, Agatha. How many ghosts slash poison are you gonna have? I'm gonna say two. Oh no, you have at least three poison types there. Actually, no. My brain saw purple and thought poison. 
But I mean, it's a ghost type. Three of them can easily go down with Psychic. Or Earthquake. Taros can also do work. And Taros can help deal damage to that Alakazam. This is kind of the scary one there. I think Alakazam should lead. Jolteon for uh, Thunderbolt. I mean, T-Way. Taros lead? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Taros, Alakazam, and Jolteon. I assume. <laughs> Body baby. He is faster though. Half our health. Jeez. Body slam was a mistake. <laughs> I think the next whatever he does is gonna kill us. They're staring each other down. The trainer hasn't issued an order. I mean to keep using body slam. Talakazam and slow matter, kill. Trainer? You can do that, yeah. Here's a Pokemon trick. Oh, it's Alakazam! What's this? Can't go weak spot. Of course it's a crit. How will the swap Pokemon fight? And theirs is faster. What will it do? Yeah, it's a hit. Wow, he's gonna kill me. What's that? The special stat is that. Far, far wow, fly. this uh, Alakazam's gonna fast. take down at least two Pokemon. Go straight for the Thunderbolt. They're staring each other down. They go into battle pose. Should something happen to Jolteon, at least uh, Alakazam will be slowed from this point on. Swapping up. Oh, it's 
What will it do? The attack wasn't effective. How will this swap affect the outcome? Did I T-wave the uh, Venusaur as well? <laughs> now. What's that? I'm gonna assume that the Venusaur probably knows. Oh, like, uh, can oh. Venusaur know Earthquake? I can't remember. It's building energy for the next attack. Oof. The heated battle rages on. I miss Auto Curiosity. Okay. What now? Super effective. Of course, it only hits the minimum twice the amount. Solar beam. Severe hit. Oh, we lived. Fireworks are flying in this battle. What's this? It's doubly affected. It three times. Oh, he's gonna double edge. Double edge. Yeah, it's a hit. Wow! Go down. Because he killed me, he doesn't take any damage from the double edge. What Pokemon Cute. will be fighting next? Alakazam, I assume. Question is, should I Psychic or should I heal right away? I mean, we'll probably take him out. We're definitely taking him out with Psychic. Never mind. I'm just going to Psychic. Or do you think it'll be safer to heal now? I feel like I should just Psychic. I think Revolver first. Okay, I'm going to Revolver. Oh, it's, it's paralyzed, paralyzed on, the on the spot. That was luck. Neither one is conceding an inch. Oh, oh swapping out again. Oh, it's Jake. <laughs> What'll it do? Critical back. hit, special went down. How will the swap Pokemon fight? Guess I'm gonna keep using Psychic. Psychic till I drop. Yeah, I figured. What that? Oh, special that. went down a second time in a row. Kind of don't want to use all my luck right now. Oh, uh, we're definitely taking a nap. Oh, it didn't connect. It's actually a pretty high chance to sleep. I think. I think it's like 80 or something. Are you swapping out again? So I didn't like the fact that its stats dropped. What now? That was weak. How will this swap affect the outcome? What this? Is it down and out? Which Pokemon is coming out? <laughs> Jinx? Here's a Pokemon check. That means it reset the We're special drop that it had. Two Pokemon aside. Neither Pokemon is backing down. What'll it do? Yeah, Jolteon's doing, uh... Pretty good work. Jolteon is definitely staying on the team should we uh, flop at any point. So far it's looking like Jolteon, Executor, and Alakazam are definitely sticking. I mean, Tauros did work too. The heated battle rages on! A psychic flash! 
So far, no, we didn't need to use Charizard, so... If something happens, I guess we could swap Charizard out. Oh, let's see what Lance has before we say Gyarados, because Gyarados still has uh, Blizzard. Gyarados and Tauros is special. Gyarados has a special of 148 and Tauros has one of 111. Also, there is not a single freaking dragon Pokemon on that team whatsoever. Not one. Not a single one. There's a fake dragon on there, which is Charizard. But there's not a single dragon. The Dragon Master does not have a single dragon type. on lead, Alex M, and whatever you want. I'd go with Tauros. I mean, it looks like it's the team to go with. The Jolteon leads, Alex M, and Tauros. And we'll see what happens. We're coming down to the edge. Here's Len, the last remaining master of the Elite Four. Fantastic, and I bet it knows an Earthquake. Pretty sure it knows an Earthquake. T-Wave or go straight into attacking? I think I'm gonna T-Wave. I mean, it's gonna be slower than everything else, but I think I'm gonna T-Wave. And now I will switch to Tauros. They strike fighting poses. Here's a Pokemon trick. Oh, it's Tauros! It's pumped up in special rating. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? Hmm. I guess. I have to agree. What'll it do? Nail the weak spot. I did a lot of damage, actually. Still improving its state. Neither one. Wondering why it's uh. Oh, I saw that too late. What's this? Boom! It went kaboom. Will I live? I wow. lived by a sliver. So we know that Snorlax can go kaboom, Which apparently. Is coming out. That's whatever comes out, I should just hyper beam it. Oh, it's Tungaskan! 
It has to make up for lost ground. The remaining Pokemon count is three to two. This battle is still up in the air. Do we just hyper? I don't think Body Slam is going to take it down. We may as well do as much damage as possible. They're staring each other down. And it only did half his health. Body slam! Yeah, it's a hit! Oh! Hit down! What Pokemon will be fighting next? Alright, who should come out next? Alec? I'm assuming Alakazam? Like the goal straight into psychic. They're staring each other down. All right, straight into psychic. What now? Critical hit, special went down. One more psychic step, they're gonna take it out. Slash is scary. Both Pokemon have taken heavy damage. A psychic flash! That's a good hit! Oh! Is it down and out? Alright, all uh cleared too bad that we can't just continue from here now comes the scary part the unskippable rival fight what the heck what a spread jeez Fire, a water, a psychic, an electric, a grass, and a ground type. Oop, 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 oop. Taurus lead Alakazam and I'll let you pick last. Hmm. Well, let's see. Gyarados can deal with the Flareon, the Executor, and the Sandslash. Just if that Magneton comes out, it's kind of scary. Maybe Gyarados? Ulteon... 
and T-Wave pretty much everything except the Sand Slash and maybe the Magneton. I think for me it's between Jolteon and Gyarados. So, yeah, sounds good, but I don't know if you mean Gyarados or Jolteon. Part of me thinks maybe Gyarados. Just for the, the better spread. Just gotta be careful with that Magneton. Alright, so... Taurus lead, Alakazam, and Gyarados. Here goes! This is truly it! The final battle against the rival! This is the final act of a long and arduous quest! And now I wish I had a Jolteon. <laughs> That's a cloister. If the Magneton is there and the cloister is here, I'm gonna assume that both of these losers can probably explode. I feel like they can explode and that's, I don't know. Explosion is gonna hurt a lot more than a self-destruct. That did nothing. Cloyster has high defense. What will the trainer do now? Real and it's a crit. The heated battle rains Not one. Up. He is gonna die. Should we just go for the hyper? I don't know. We don't have a single check for that cloister and it has high defense. I think we might have lost. I think we lost. I know that I'm calling it super early, but I think we lost. Oh, that was a crit though. I don't know. If that was not a crit, I think we would have lost. Pokemon is coming out. We just traded, basically. Oh, it's Magneton! It has to make up for lost ground. How will the That's a Magneton, so I'm gonna assume it knows Thunder Wave. Not that it's gonna use it on me right now, but we know for sure now it has Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt! Definitely not Gyarados coming out, so I'm guessing I'm bringing out Alakazam. We're gonna just psychic right out the gate. The Pokemon are entirely different types. Like it can recover when needed. Go into battle post. What's that? Yeah, it's a hit. Oof. I was hoping it would do just a teeny tiny bit more. Yep, there's the thunder wave. Hit you, thunder wave. Oof, it's paralyzed. Neither one is conceding an inch. Do you think I should Psychic now, or should I recover now? Remember that I go slower because of the paralysis. They no. fighting poses. There it goes! There, it's a hit! A Psychic Flash! Alright, that's two down. There 
has only one Pokemon left in reserve. Oh, it's Flareon! It's a Flareon. Considering the, it's the rival battle, I'm gonna assume it knows Fire Blast. I don't know what else it's gonna know, but I'm sure it knows Fire Blast. It's got double edge, we're going down. Double edge! That's a good hit! We're down to one Pokemon aside. Oh, it's Gyarados! I like how double edge they take no damage There's if it confirms the kill. Now. The I'm gonna assume I'm just gonna hydro to pump one. and pray. They're staring each other down. Oh my god, of course it lives by... Why would you double edge? Okay, that's gotta take it down. He took himself out. That was a, a little bit anticlimactic. I thought it was gonna be a lot harder. Oh, we beat Gym Leader Castle. So Gym Leader Castle, round two is completed. This goofball. I can't believe he's proven to be as useful as he has been. Charizard, you did not come out at all. Oh, we got a reward too, right? Because we beat Gym Leader Castle. Yeah, we got a present. What am I gonna get? I like how the colors are blue, red, and green in the background. And we got a... Really? Another Ammonite? Could you, couldn't you have at least cycled through everything before you decided to give me yet another Omanyte? Oh my god. What do I want another Omanyte for? Oh, Gym Leader Castle's beat. Then this Pokeball will take good care of it. I mean, yeah, sure. Now we gotta go to the Dodrio Tower. I guess we're gonna level up Alakazam to level 55, I guess, for the Poke Cup. That's what we want to do, right? I guess while I'm here, I guess I could also teach it uh, Thunder Wave. Oh my god, did you see how many hours I've put into this? Ugh, 203 hours! That's not even looking at blue version. Although I've been putting in more work at... the blue version. Do I even have, uh... Oh, I go rearrange stuff. Probably be in box 10. Actually... I 
gonna deposit this one. Which one was this one? Oh, I guess this one does go in box 10. Oops. You still there? We're we doing this, we're gonna level up Alakazam to 55, right? To help us with, uh... And you think it's wise to teach a Thunder Wave while I'm in here, right? Uh, which team? TM. I, for I forgot that this game doesn't tell you what the TMs are unless you like memorize it. Thunder Wave is 45. Alakazam is trying to learn Thunder Wave, but it can't learn more than four moves. Delete an older move? Sure. Get rid of Psy Beam, I guess. Alakazam, learn T Wave. Go ahead and save that. And let's blitz him real quick. The Pokemon Mansion. Should I blitz Pokemon Mansion or should I level him up through the Cinnabar Gym and just get that out of the way since we're already here? What do you think? Yeah, I, could just, I could level off wild Pokemon, but I could also use this opportunity to just go ahead and beat Cinnabar Gym at this point. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that then. Oh man, that's right. This has a little quiz thing, right? A hot-headed Blaine is a fired Pokemon pro. Douses spirits of water. You better take some burn heals. Cinnabar Island Pokemon gym leader Blaine. Only person to come through is blue. Wait a minute. This Is this glitch still here? Hold on. Ah, uh, Doesn't work here. Wait, does this one work? I know it works in a... Works in blue version. You can like, like, surf into the little statues or whatever. Oh wait, if I get the questions right, then I don't get to. F I don't have to fight the trainers, right? Alakazam lead. Yeah, you're right. I almost screwed that up. Or can I answer the question correctly and? Uh, and then fight the gym, the trainer anyway. This gym is also known as the quiz gym. You have to take a quiz if you want to see Blaine. You don't have to fight us if you get it right. Have to. Let me see. Pokemon quiz. Get it right and the door opens to the next room. Get it wrong and face the trainer blocking the way. You want to conserve your Pokemon for the gym leader? Then get it right. Here we go. Caterpie evolves into Butterfree. That's kind of a trick question. It will eventually. It's part of its evolutionary line, but Caterpie does not immediately evolve into Butterfree. So I'm going to say no. Bad call? Okay. I don't like the way that one was worded, though. But I also want to see if I say yes, can I still fight the gym leader? Any I mean, the gym leader, the trainer anyway. I was a thief, but I became straight as a trainer. Oh, I okay, I like this. I can try and get the questions right and then fight the trainer. I surrender. I don't 
don't know. I don't think I should have gotten that one wrong. What do you think? Oh, does this one have two questions? There are nine certified Pokemon League badges. No. That I had gotten the, the question wrong. I was like, Caterpie evolves into Butterfree. And I felt like that was a trick question because it was like, Caterpie does technically evolve into Butterfree, but it doesn't directly evolve into Butterfree. So I said no, and it said, oh, that's incorrect. I thought that was a trick question. My opinion, though. You can't win. I have studied Pokemon totally. Psychic Mist? He's 51. Do I have PP ups? I don't think I've picked up a single PP up. Unless that's something you have to purchase somewhere. Poliwag evolves three times. See? The Poliwag line has three, uh, what's it called? It's Poliwag, Poliwhirl, and Poliwrath. But it evolves into Poliwhirl, one. It evolves into Poliwrath, two. So it should just be two, right? Not three. I feel like this one's another one that's weird, worded weird. If this was Gen 2, though, technically has three evolutions. I just like using fire Pokemon. Let me go heal up. Also, just because I want to be stupid. I don't need Cutter with me right now. But I would want this bad boy with me. So, so if he pulls out a Magmar, I can pretend I'm, I'm reliving the TV episode. I'm a big nerd like that. I thought it was going to give me like 500 lines again. Did you talk to the second guy? Not sure. I didn't get to read that question properly. Do you know how hot fire Pokemon Brit? Oh. oh, you're right. I would have skipped him. People using nine tails here. Got a good taste. Alright, now let me actually properly read this question. I think it had said something about electric types. Come on, to circuit. Are thunder moves effective against ground element type Pokemon? No, of course not. I had read it correctly, but I wanted to make sure. Rapid Dash! Now level 52. Next question. Test your skill. Pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical. Pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical. So I'm assuming it means like if I have two Pikachus 
and they're the same level, of course they're not going to be the same. What? Why would they be the same? They would have different... Do they expect us not to know about IVs and EVs? Or am I, or am I misreading that? If I get two Pikachus, or two Charmanders, or whatever, and I level them up, right? They're not going to be identical, even if they are the same level. I feel like that's a bad question. Or did I just misread something in it? Pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical. Unless they mean type, which would still be no. How was I supposed to read that then? Oh yeah, in that case then, yeah. So my logic was correct, I just misread the question. TM28 contains tombstone. <laughs> Tombstoner. Yeah, that's a real Pokemon move. <laughs> Are you saying yes to the question? <laughs> Tombstoner. <laughs> what is TM28? I know it's Tombstoner is not a real move. What is TM28? It's a dig. I mean, you are the tombstone. The <laughs> I guess I see how they were trying to confuse people. Tombstoner. did Blaine dirty. I forgot that that's what his NPC looks like. Look at him! <laughs> Supposed to be a tall skinny dude. Let's go heal up. Oh, where am I going? I almost went to the Pokemon Mansion. There's something back here? Nope. There's something here? Nope. Ha! I'm Blaine. I am the leader of the Cinnab or Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokemon will incinerate all challengers. Ha! You better have Burn Heal. Oh, wait. We gotta, ma we gotta make this dramatic. We gotta make this dramatic. We gotta make this... I had turned off uh, animations. Oh my god, I forgot to save. Thank god for three times speed. turn on animations. Ha! I'm Blaine. I'm the leader of the Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokemon will incinerate all challengers. Ha! You better have Burn Heal. Blaine wants to fight. Blaine sent out Nine Tails. Oh yeah? Well, go Alakazam! 
just go ahead and psychic. Make the screen all wavy. Special fell. It's using tail whip. And quick attack. Forgot how much some of these animations slow the game down. Rapid Dash! Will you change Pokemon? Absolutely not! I'm just gonna Psychic again! I will need two more levels after this. Arcanine? Hey, he didn't use Magmar! Oh well. I don't know what you think is going on, Blaine, but uh... I don't have any physical type moves. Lee defeated Blaine. I've burnt out. You have earned a volcano badge. Ha! The volcano badge heightens the special abilities of your Pokemon. Oh my god, I forgot that's right. This game has a system like that. So that means Alakazam's gonna be even more powerful going forward. I should have done this a while ago. TM38 contains Fire Blast. Teach it to a Fire-type Pokemon. Charmeleon or Ponyta would be good bets. My god, look at what they did to Blaine. I think it might... No, we can double check. Let me see, Alakazam, stats... Oh, but he's leveled up. I mean, I don't mind redoing this gym again, just to speed through it. So Charizard special right now is 130. We'll just three times speed it. Not like this was a difficult gym with Alakazam. Oh, it didn't increase anything. What the hell is he talking about then? Does that just not work here? But I know that the games technically, the Gen 1 and 2 did then, then they stopped doing that after Gen 3. Oh, I critted it. Oh, I now have Fire Blast that I can start using here. Heal up the team. I mean, you can feel free to look it up for me real quick. While I, uh, try to quickly level up Alakazam here. Alright, I'm gonna turn off animations again. So we can do this quickly. Level 54. Just one more level to go and then we'll bounce back into the stadium mode. Would Thunder Wave really be the best move to give Alakazam or should we have given it Seismic Toss? That's something that's like playing around in my head right now as I do this. Oh, 
Oh, we ran out and we have no more attack moves because we got rid of Sideway. Of course, we get attacked on the way out. Also, we are kind of done on Cinnabar Island. The only thing left I have to do on Cinnabar Island is, uh, just grind. we get to better locations like Victory Road. Seventy-seven and special at a hundred and ninety-two. Jeez. All right, Alakazam is a a contender. Another Pokemon I could check. Pause the pitch out real quick, just so that I can check here. Nope, there's still one forty-three. Fortunate if I did not save. Three more Pokemon to go, which will be Electabuzz, Mewtwo, and Zapdos, and then I'll have a complete Dex. Actually, no, there's four. Who am I missing? 125 is Electabuzz. Oh, sorry. Electabuzz, Zapdos, Moltres, and Mewtwo. There we go. Three legendaries and, uh,. This Volman that I need to get from you. Alright, let's see if we can at least knock out uh, another thing here in the Poke Cup. I don't think we can use Mew in this run. Jolteon, Executor, I have Charizard's in the party right now. Gyarados, Atakazam's in the party, and I guess Tauros, right? This looks like a, a good well-rounded team to go in. Any changes? I mean, I don't know what to expect right now. But this would seem like the team. A good well-rounded team, I guess. Let's see how this goes. Three ghosts, three psychics. like this and Tauro seems like a good choice yeah Tauro, Salakazam and Jolteon Finally on. 
on Tournament Poke Cup Great Ball. The battle gets underway to the cheers of an enthusiastic crowd. Oh, swapping out. Oh, a ghost type. Oh, it's Gengar. Meaning body slam's gonna miss. Here's the first move. Oops, that's a miss. That's okay, cause I've got Earthquake. And we're gonna take a nap. Oh, we did not go to sleep. Back to the Hypno. The Pokemon are entirely different types. What's this? Boom! Is everyone just gonna know Hypnosis and Dream Eater? I feel like that's gonna be the thing. Up a new dream eater. What's that? Miss the target. Neither one yeah. is seeing an inch. So we can actually earn continues here. What'll it do? Watch the week. It was a crit. Oh, is it down and out? There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokemon. Oh, it stinks! The remaining Pokemon count is 3 to 1. The battle has become one sided. They're staring each other down. Hasn't issued an order. Uh, I'm guessing I'm just gonna body slam because I don't think round has uh, any advantage against ice. I don't know why I keep thinking that. There's the attack. Oh, we dead. finally got a paralysis. Oh, look at that. They use metronome and it happened to get Leech Seed. Interesting game. Very interesting. The crowd's excitement is building over this hot battle. Oh, Two turns were asleep. It's paralyzed on the spot. Sparks are flying in this heated match. What's this? There, it's a hit! Fireworks are flying in this battle! Body slam! That's a good hit! Wow! Going down! Alright, that's one continue. Boros carried that fight.
I think Taro, Sadakazam, and Gyarados. Um, we had the same idea. We just differed on our leads. Should I switch to uh, Taros and start Earthquaking? Or should I just have Alakazam fight? I also send out Gyarados. Just got that move. Sparks are flying in this heated match. It's faster and it knows fire spin. Of What's course that? it does. It's not very effective. He is going to chip us away ever so slowly. It can't make a move. Neither one is conceding an inch. The attack still going on. It's a light hit. The crowd's excitement is building over this hot battle. We needed to miss. What's this? And it, it did not miss. Oh, it still can't move. I mean, yeah, we can swap for free into Taro, so it'll break the fire spin. But if they use the uh, fire spin again. Oh, it's Taro. How will the swap Oh no, it does break it. Fang, Super Fang. What'll it do? A savage hit! Sparks are flying in this heated match. Body slam! Danger death! Oh! It's down! There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. Oh, it's Venomon! The remaining Pokemon count is 3 is to it 1. Poison the Bug Venom or Poison Flying? Bug. Or Flying Bug? If that's flying, then Earthquake's not gonna work, and I should probably swap. They're staring each other down. hasn't issued an order a bug poison type so should i just stick What's it out in an earthquake oh. i'll swap to ala commands are issued oh there's going to be a change of pokemon
who continues. Three of those are weak to Psychic. Taros can lead as well. Akazam Taros. Jolteon. I'm guessing I should swap to Tauros, start Earthquaking. Or do you want me to Psychic? Alright, I'll try a Psychic and see. The nose confused ray. Fireworks are flying in this battle. A psychic flash. That's a good hit. No, oh, is it down and out? We're waiting for the next Pokemon. I am confused. We have a Tauros in our back pocket. It's psychic. I could try to Thunder Wave. It probably also knows Thunder Wave. Each other down. I could just try and psychic. So many options. The trainer hasn't issued an order. Changing Pokemon. That'll reset the confusion. Oh, it's Tara. Really hope it doesn't know T-Wave, and it knows T-Wave. Oh, you're gonna be super annoying. You're gonna paralyze, confuse, and try to lock me into not being able to do anything. And I hurt myself. Uh oh, it's confused. Wow. One is conceding an inch. So now I have to get past two different checks. I have to get past a paralysis and a confusion. It's a crit. Might have to bring Taros back in. There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokemon. Oh, it's Megaton! The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one-sided. Here's a Pokemon chain. Oh, it's Jolteon! What now? Boom! How will this swap affect the outcome? What's that? Oops, it's paralyzed! Of course. Yeah, it's a hit. The heated battle rages on. What's this? A savage hit. Wow. 
What now? Its entire strategy is to paralyze and the crowd's excitement is building over this hot battle. To paralyze and confuse. Oh, there's going to be a change of Pokemon. Yeah, you didn't have to even tell me that. Oh, What's I'm that? so happy that I swapped. There, it's a hit. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? What'll it do? And it was a crit. Wow! Go down! And there goes the battle! That one doesn't work. That one doesn't work. Let's stick with this one. Continue. It's got one, two, three, four, five Pokemon that are weak to Earthquake. The Tauros might be a safe lead here. I'm hesitant to bring out Charizard because of its flying type. Executor, it's kind of scary to bring out too, just because of that Parasect. I definitely think Tauros is going to lead. So maybe Tauros, Alakazam, and something else. I think I'll go with Jolteon just in case. Entirely possible that it will not be a continue. No, this Pokemon looks wrong. Oh, a horrible freak. It did How work. does it fail? Neither one is conceding. I'm saying moves fail that I didn't think could ever fail. Savage attack. Wow, that's an effective so we're three to two now. Oh. Hopefully he went with all electric types. Oh, it's Bile Flute! The Pokemon are entirely different types. Should I Earthquake or should I Blizzard? No contest there. Vigorous attack! Whoa! Looks like a bad Pokemon choice! Always with the paralysis. Oops, it's paralyzed. Sparks are flying in this heated match. What now? There, it's a hit. We could swap. No, it is. Slither. Or we oh, might not need to swap. <laughs> Why? The Just let it die at this point. Oh, it's electric. Oh, he's gonna self-destruct. You know he's gonna self-destruct. What's that? A savage hit! 
What do I have? I don't have anything that I think is gonna tank an explosion. It's definitely gonna explode. You want me to body it and not earthquake? They're staring each other down. Why a body and not an earthquake? Oh, okay. I'm glad I double checked there. Oh, it's got hyper beam. Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one-sided. It's frozen rock salt. It's paralyzed. I like how it's trying to keep up with all the stupidity that's happening. The excitement is building over this hot battle. Oh, it still can't move. It can't move again. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This battle. It can't make a move. Body slam! Boom! Oh! It's down! And there goes the battle! I think in Gen 2 you can actually start thawing out, like just on your own. The only way out of that is to use an ice. Like a freeze heal or ice heal or whatever it's called. And or the op the opponent using a fire type attack on you. A Dragonair, a Scyther, a Charizard, a Kangaskhan, a Raichu, and a Poliwrath. a tricky one. Gyarados can safely take out two of them, I feel like. But then he can get checked real easy by that Raichu. He can't do anything to the Polyrath. Taros or Alakazam lead and then Jolteon. I can I guess that makes sense. We're in the last half of the tournament. Things will get white hot. Begin round five. Still don't know if he says quite hot or white hot. Fighting moves. Like a bad Pokemon choice. The crowd's excitement is building over this hot battle. Could I swap to Jolteon? attack 80 accuracy and recoil i don't think gen 1 had a lot in the way of good fighting type moves wow. 
Pokemon is coming out! Oh, it's Tonga Scum! Should I go right into the Psychic or should I reflect? Worst case, I'll uh, I'll use recover. What's this? There, it's a hit. I'll recover what just because I'm at battle. half. They go into battle post. I have to start psyching it's using psychic from this point out. Though I think his goal is to try and confuse me. A decent hit. Neither one is conceding an inch. <laughs> I was gonna instinctively do that anyway. What's this? Good hit! Sparks are flying in this heated match! He waved to be mean. It's restoring HP! His goal is to paralyze me. Yeah, it's a hit! The crowd's excitement is building over this hot battle! What's that? And it was a crit. Might go down. It went down. Now, that didn't take much. And there goes the battle! trying to lure me out with Jolteon. They're 100% trying to lure out Jolteon here. Oh no, I know, trust me. It's gonna get nutty. In Ultra and, of course, in Master Ball. Really? No Jolteon? It's scary that there's a... There's an Onyx and a Marowak there, I guess. Exam Tauros and Executor then. The field is thinning out. We're into round six. <laughs> they strike fighting poses. 
Pretty wild Kingler, but I don't think that I will ever use it in, in a competitive play here. Is it down and out? What Pokemon will be fighting next? Oh, it's Obasaur! The Pokemon are entirely different types. What's this? So the beauty is gonna be these the uh I'm gonna become super crazy like dodgy type. There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one-sided. What's that? Heart blow. It made itself more evasive. All she's done is try to be get is try to get more evasiveness. I don't think she's tried to attack once. There it goes! That's a good hit! Oh! It's down! And there goes the battle! Very. For real. I'm surprised we even got to continue. I'm guessing a Taros lead here. I thought wrong. This is it, the semi-final! No one wants to lose having come this far. Mag instead the of Magmar. Are entirely different types. They strike fighting poses. What'll it do? The bear hit. What's that? Bear, it's a hit. Neither one is conceding an inch. What now? What the week? Wow! Might have to swap out, I think. We're going for the continue. There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokemon. Oh, it's Rachel! 
The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one-sided. Seismic toss. Good hit. Sparks are flying in this heated match. They go into battle post. Oh, there's going to be a change of Pokemon. Oh, it's Tara. What will it do? A savage hit. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? Earthquake! Whoa! Super awesome. and crit, it's going down. I'm reading the name Churai and I keep thinking Churrasco. I did not mean to make you hungry. My Menza, Slowpenza, Dabrenza, Drowzen, Drowenza, Execute Enza, Egg Enza, my bad, and Clefenza. Why do their names all sound like diseases? I feel like if he had a seven Pokemon, it'd be called Influenza. Jolteon and Alakazam. Here goes. This is it, the final battle. Who will bask in the glory of the championship? I think I might wrap up the stream with just heading over to uh, Fireworks are flying in this the uh, lab, the power plant I mean, and seeing if I can catch that Zapdos. I think that'll be a good way to end the stream. do that. I picked the wrong move. What My brain was just like, body what baby. Oh, well, at least he got paralyzed. What now? Hit the weak part. It's a head-on collision. Power versus power. No, it is. Lizard. What? There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. Oh, it's drowsy! I mean, it's 90% accuracy. The remaining Pokemon count is 3 to 1. The battle has become one sided. I could swap. <laughs> okay, I guess I will hyper.
Taros did uh, sweep most of it. You're not wrong. There's our great ball. We're slowly chipping away. That means we've got two more cups to get at the Poke Cup, and then once we do that, I'll begin proceeding with the story again in yellow until I get Pokemon to level 100. By that point, I'll also probably have Mewtwo. Are there any limitations to this one? Can I use a Mewtwo here? I just want to see the rules. Open to all Pokemon, so I can have a Mewtwo and a Mew on the team if I wanted to. Mewtwo, Mew, and Alakazam. Game. Charles did sweep that last cup. I'm gonna do this here real quick, just because it's easier. What am I gonna need for catching... I need Pikachu for sure. Maybe Venusaur. Barzard might not be a good Pokemon to have for trying to capture that. Oh, looking at my 64 box. Alakazam should come. Pidgeot should come. Lapras needs to be there because I need to surf into the area. Good night, my dude. Grats on the gym and great ball cup. Thank you. We're, we're definitely making good progress, I think. Charizard's the one that I would probably want to swap. He's gonna get destroyed out there. You know what? Rhydon. Rhydon should come along for trying to capture Articuno. I think that should be the team. Wait, no. I'm gonna need Cutter. I have... Like a regular old Krabby. I think Krabby can learn everything. I have a Kingler. I grab one of these Krabbies in place of Lapras. Now I can teach it Cut and all this other stuff. Wait! I can't teach it Cut! I never got the Cut HM! <laughs> that, that's not a problem. I know I know what we can do. Modern problems require <laughs> modern solutions. to blue version and teach it what I need to teach it. I go. That Jigglypuff is clearly using Headbutt, and you can't Headbutt a Gengar. Do I have it here? Yes, I do. Surf to a Pokemon, teach it to the Scrabby. Scrabby learned Surf. Got a 
go into my box, apparently, to be able to... this back I love that you can organize everything so much easier in this game like through stadium I mean you can cheese certain kind of trades can't learn is fly apparently I don't know if that counts as a trade or not so I don't know if I'll be able to rename him if I can rename him I'm gonna rename him Swiss as in Swiss army knife I can name him Swiss AK. I wish I could come up with a creative name for him. Like tuna can opener. Oh my god, sir, cut string. And they're listed in the order that it was taught to him. Oh, that's a little annoying. Should have probably taught him cut. I mean, that's gonna be a little bit annoying. It's not the end of days, though. Uh, name Raider should be here, right? Swiss AK. <laughs> Is there an all-purpose tool that we can use as a name for it? tool
Guess that'll be his name for now. <laughs> okay, this Pokemon has been renamed to Swiss AK. That's a better name than before. <laughs> that made that police officer look like Officer Jenny. Just in case. anything here either. But I'm gonna save before I pick up anything because some of these might be Voltorbs or Electrodes. But we found the Carbos. So no thank you. Everything I'm encountering is a Voltorb or an Electrode. Oh, it's a Grimer. Oh, we got a TM, so we're gonna save. What's TM33? It is... Reflect! I... I tried to take a step. Put it back to like regular speed to save because I'm always paranoid that saving it like that's gonna screw up something. Oh, we found TM25. What's that? 
Dunder. That's actually pretty useful, so we'll save. Wasting any of our precious resources on catching anything that is not in. Or I almost said Articuno. Zapdos. Up. Oh. There we go. There's the famous Zappy Dose. Nothing of use here. Wait. Better for me to be like this. That way I could just talk to it. How many resets do you think it's going to take us before we get a good Zapdos? We should set up a counter. Go ahead and do that. We already have our Articuno catches. We'll change it to Zapdos catches. Looks. Oh, we gotta change the uh, the number though. This is our first attempt. All right, here we go. It's a crit. Hey, try hurting me now, dude. Zapdos, the electric, an electric Pokemon, or just the electric Pokemon, I guess. This legendary bird Pokemon is said to appear when the sky turns dark and lightning showers down. Alright, so we caught the Zapdos. Oh my god, I made a crucial mistake. I didn't have an open slot. So us say, okay, take us back. This box is full. <sighs> Let's deposit. Could I deposit? Let's 
Pidgey off for now just because I'm probably going to have to reset anyway, right? I just screwed up, I realized. Because then changing boxes, you save. Oh my god. to cheese something later. I just screwed up. Oh my god, that's kind of annoying. I have ways of being able to catch the Zapdos again. That's kind of annoying. Well, let's hope that this one is perfect. I didn't think. Wow, talk about everything going wrong at the worst possible time. How far back would I have to go? Everything in Stadium is done. I would just have to re-level up the Alakazam and redo the... the Cinnabar Gym. Let's see. Maybe we won't have to. Maybe this one will be the one. Oh my god, I hate that this game had that stupid mechanic. So, at a glance, how screwed am I? Pretty screwed. At 159, 104, 92, 15, and 137. It is the worst Zapdos I have ever seen! It's IVs from HP, Attack, Defense, Special, and Special de and Speed. It's 992710. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can fix this. I just have to re-level up the Alakazam and redo that gym. Luckily, we don't have to do anything all over again at Stadium. There's a reason that I do this. So actually, and I've talked about this on Instagram before, I have a device called the GB Operator that I use for repairing these carts. And because of how often the batteries tend to go out, I make backups periodically of all of the stuff. So the biggest annoyance is... I'm gonna re-upload my save. Thank God that I don't have to redo anything in Stadium though. So it's a minor inconvenience. So where's my latest save? Here. And just like that, I've reverted my save. And if something ever happens to my battery, I will be fine. Transfer pack. I don't need the epilogue software anymore. Let's see. Let's go ahead and turn on this. Jeez. What an inconvenience.
Jeez, jeez, jeez. We find a map of where the items are in Celadon. Not Celadon. The... Oh wait, I hate reorganizing boxes like this. Put you here. It's all because of you. You should have been there. Alright, then from here, let's go ahead. Grab Alakazam. And I'm going to put Lapras away for now. Right along Charizard and Blastoise. box it would have been in. Here are the Krabbies. Go ahead and pick you. And we are going to go ahead and grab uh or in the wrong box. Box 10. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Rhydon. Shuffle right up in here. Oh, right. Hold on. I got so much for catching Zapdos. I mean, I'm gonna probably end up catching it off stream anyway, but oh, that was dumb. I can't believe that that happened. Let's go ahead and put you here. And I'll load up blue version again. And then we'll go to the Game Boy Tower real quick. We will have Krabby learn all of those moves. Bring it back over. Level up Alakazam. Did uh, Thunder Wave. I'm just happy that 
I don't have to redo anything in the stadium. That's that's the silver lining. I just realized I loaded up yellow. You know what? Just for now. Let's just get this over with. I don't need the crabby yet anyway. Just because I like making sure that I talk to everything. Deja vu! It's good that we have side beam for now. Less trips going back. thing. One that I misread. gyms, but this is my favorite. I could keep doing the quizzes even after. What happens if I do the quiz here? What if I said, yeah. Sorry, bad call. Haven't I seen you before? It's possible you may have seen me before, Blaine. Whoa!
Look at you. Getting me all confused. for now, just so that we have to do less trips. And you can bet I'm gonna make a backup save. I can't believe that that happened. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I'm so, so peeved. Alright, just one more level to go. so much faster. Oh yeah, that's right, because this Abra came from my blue version. I was like, why would I go through the trouble of trying to catch a good Abra again? second now. Or you could keep giving me little ratatas. over to a blue version and teach that little old crabby things that it needs to know, transfer it back over. Did I even pick it up in blue version? Oh my gosh. I did pick it up. Oh 
Oh yeah, I could teach a fly, I'm sure. So many less hours. the wrong cartridge. Good lord. Stadium really helps as a companion in game. I should just call him Swiss Army. Jack? Jack of all trades, that doesn't fit. I suppose AK for now, and I can always change it to something later. It lists it in the order that they're arranged, so I was wrong. Alright, we're not going to be doing a whole lot of flying here. Okay. I'm gonna 
like a box nine. And we have an open slot, okay. So let's go ahead. Do this goofy mistake again. And, uh... Yes, yes, Elgato, I know there's no signal because there's nothing sending you a signal for now. And just like that, we have a backup. So if anything silly or stupid happens, or if my save file gets deleted, which believe it or not has happened a few times, maybe in my very shoddy work at uh, placing a battery in. Let me close out this software. And cut this on. Oops. Got this charging in the meantime. There we go. Let me see while well, it preloads this if I can find a map of the power plant. Perfect, found the map. We're not gonna fight that trainer. So we have an item here. item is going to be all the way at the bottom here. Doesn't show where the hidden items are though. Oh, 
Was it here? 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 There it was. damage than I thought it was going to do. Oof. That guy just decided to do nothing but drill pack at that point. Did not bring it down anywhere near where I would have wanted it to. How many ultra balls does it take to catch the Zapdos? But you guys know my rule, right? If it takes way too many of a specific type of ball to catch, like at this point, I know that this is gonna be like a terrible Zapdos. Because it refuses to be in the ball. You would think that because it's taking forever to catch it, that this would be the Zapdos. But I can assure you that my instinct is going to tell me it's not going to be very good. So it's got 161. There, Oh, the attack's already garbage. Defense is slightly better than the last one. Its speed is slower than the last one and special is higher. So yeah, it still has pretty garbage attack, defense, and speed, so this is not the one that we're going to keep. Sorry that you have to be the uh, sacrificial lamb, Pikachu. Why is it always a crit, though? enough. I don't think this one's going to be very good either just because of how much damage Thundershock was, not Thundershock, Thunderbolt was doing to it. This is like what our, our current lead, this is our third attempt. forgot that I said I was going to update that. three now. Alright, so this one has more HP, way more attack. The absolute worst defense that I think it could possibly have. It's slow as molasses and it's special is garbage. It has two perfect IVs and HP and attack and then everything else is like a one or a five. That's it. So our third attempt did not prove to be fruitful. So here we go. Number four. Light screen. It will thunder wave. It will thunderbolt. That was a crit though. And we will switch over to Rhydon so Pikachu does not have to die. And we have 96 Ultra Balls. Let's see how many it takes.
Yikes! This is probably one of the worst I've seen. I mean, at least his defense decided to go up. Speed is pretty up there as well, and its special is pretty up there. That HP and attack killed it, though. The defense special and speed is honestly not too bad. It's 13, 13, and 12, but that, uh... That low attack... I can't... I can't whip it because I'm going to need access to that drill pack. Potentially. If I were to use it. No special. Oh, why didn't I switch to right on? I'm slipping. See how this one is. Wow. Yep, its defense is pretty garbage and its speed tanked. Actually, got a 14 into special, but everything else became garbage. Its HP, defense, and speed is like 6, 5, and 4, and then a both of its attack and special were 14 on the dot. Again, light screen. Thunder wave. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. And Thunderbolt. And just because I don't like you. And right on. Just to spite you. You and your drill pecking and thunderbolting. That one was a little too easy to catch. Yep, look at that defense and that special. Like, I don't even feel like plugging it in. Its lowest special is 130. It has perfect speed, though, apparently. Its defense is low. Nope. I'm doing a terrible job of updating this. What, what was this? It was our 6 1. Light screen. Thunderwave. They're bolts. So special again. It's bad. I don't I don't even feel like plugging in the stuff. Its HP doesn't even break 10. Its defense is garbage. The only slightly good thing on it is maybe it's special. That's it. Oh my goodness, that one was bad. This will be our 8th attempt. That was the 7th one we caught.
Wow. Yeah, you can't hurt me. That thunderbolt ain't doing squat. That drill pack ain't gonna do much either. Don't let the, the fact that it's a bunch of three digits fool you. This is pretty bad, I think. Yep, that speed. Speed is one. I probably would have been happy with it because it's like 11, 9, 12, 11, but speed was one, so. Why ain't keeping this one? Abysmal special. Oh my god. What's the fastest catch? The, yeah, HP is like one. Like, no, actually, HP is zero. Oh my god, it's HP is terrible. Defense is pretty garbage. Speed is 105 and special is 136. It is. It is the devil. It is 06660. Good lord. See, and I keep forgetting to change this. I wish there was a way for me to just tap a button and that's it. So this is our 10th attempt. It's gonna have terrible HP and special again. Seven two thirteen thirteen one terrible. This would be what number eleven? disheartening. I wish that from here I could see its IVs just so that I know if I want to catch it or not. Yup, it's pretty bad. The HP went down even more. Attack went up. Defense went up a little bit. Speed went up a bit. And then the special completely tanked. So, perfect defense. But 5, 6, 7, and 6. For the other stats. Number 12. I can't 
face anything off that. Oh, this one's gonna be a little bit better in some aspect. Oh my god, that was crit. Its HP went up, its attack is has gone down, its defense went all the way down basically. It's worthless there. Its speed is 114, and its special went down even more since the last time. So it's 10, 5, 2, 4, 9, so not worth it. I accidentally opened this. Up to 13 now. Did nothing but drill packs. Back again. Let's plug it in though. Now that's 162. Its attack went down again. Now this time its defense went up. Its speed is 119 this time. And it's special dropped all the way down, so it's basically zero IVs into special. So you already know we're not using it. But for curiosity's sake, it was 12, 3, 13, 0, and 14. Oh, wait. Get me. Can I just leave that open like that? And then you guys will see. Is that what I did last time? Hold on. Oh, I can just do that. Okay, I don't have to complicate my life. Oh, it's terrible. I decided to be a really big booger for some one that's probably gonna be terrible. Alright, let's put it to the test. I can already tell you its HP is trash. Lowest it can be is 150 and it has 152. Its attack is 107. Its defense is 100. Its speed is 106, so this also tanked a lot. And its special is only 136. So it is 2, 12, 10, 6, and 1. So worthless. Got it.
Not even gonna lie to you, I don't even feel like catching it. I already saw how much it dropped, so... make the attempt on stream to, to catch it, but I know that this is not the most exciting content. I think someone reset over and over and over again. Jeez, it's terrible. Like, it's so bad when you just look at the numbers and you can already tell that it's not- oh my god. I think this is worse than the one I accidentally caught. 4, 12, 11, 0, and 0 as two, like, completely worthless IVs. Oh my god. It's terrible. I called it. It was going to be trash. 156. Attack is a 105, so at least probably going to be up there. But then, do 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 do, its defense drops to garbage. It's got 116 speed and 138 special. So it's 6, 10, 3, 8, 11. Not worth keeping at all. We are resetting. I'm gonna keep going at least to my 20th attempt and then I'm gonna call it quits for the night because it's pretty late. Then I will keep trying throughout the week again. And then I'll probably be streaming a little more often coming up. What? I'm gonna hope that that was a crit. But I did an absurd amount of damage there. Not attacking right on. You're just here because you can tank the drill packs and uh, he can't hit you if it's a thunderbolt. Called it. Like in general, just does not want to have good stats. I mean, it's special is pretty good. Special was 13. It's 5, 8, 9, 13, and 10, so not worth keeping. Here we go. Attempt number 18. Oh my god, I'm hitting every wrong number. I can't see my keyboard. 18. It's gonna be trash.
Yikes. That attack and defense. Defense is 96, its attack is 98. Its HP went up. Its speed is higher than the last one. 10, 3, 6, 12, 13. Too low. That attack and defense is too low. If it wasn't for the attack and defense, it would have been a keeper. Alright, this is number 19. It's terrible. went back up he drops by two points and it's special almost entirely tanked it's one so it's seven four fifteen one eleven not worth keeping at all all right this will be number 20 this will be my last attempt of the night maybe number 20 is the charm Wanting to jump the gun. Okay, that was a crit though. Okay, maybe. Maybe something special will happen with this one, I don't know. Whoa. You sure wanted to be caught. Never mind, I stand corrected. It is gonna be. Completely asinine. So this one is nine three twelve nine six. Not worth keeping. I'm gonna do one more bonus round. Because that one was a little bit unusual. So, our 21st attempt. I did not want to do that. Get absolutely destroyed. And we killed it. I'm not counting that one. hate everybody because that one might have been good. I'll tell you this one's gonna be trash. Oh my gosh! It didn't go and do reflect! Light screen. Thunder wave. Thunderbolt. Of course, it's a crit. Alakazam. Reflect. Ride on. Now start chucking Ultra Balls at it. Like attempt 23, because the last two were accidentally KO'd. All 
right, there we go. Yep, absolutely trash. We finished the night not being able to catch a good Zapdos, but we made the good effort. So this one's special is 142. Its speed is 107, so I can already tell you it's pretty garbage. Its defense is through the floor. It's the 98, 158. So 8, 3, 6, 12, 2. It is absolutely garbage. We made a good effort. It was just not in the cards, unfortunately. So, I think that's it for tonight. I want to thank everyone who stopped by to watch. Big thanks to Official One Piece Slayer for always being there and moderating the chat, as well as giving me advice on how to best approach some of these battles. And we had a pretty productive night otherwise. We beat Blaine in uh in the base game in pokemon yellow then we completed we also completed gym leader tower we did the uh, the great ball cup uh or rather the great ball challenge for the poke cup and we did some some minor changes to some pokemon and we tried to catch uh zapdos so it was a good night it was a good stream so hopefully next sunday we'll have a much better one I want to thank you guys again for coming in and stopping by and watching and of course it's time for me to uh, plug my socials, All right? Because that's a thing that we do here. So, if you guys want to follow me, there it is in the chat. But I'll be saying it out loud as well. If you want to, uh, how should I do this? You should totally give me a follow here on Twitch, so you know when I'm going to stream. But I also recommend you follow me over at Twitter.com/slashleymustang, where I go ahead and let you guys know when I'm going to be posting uh a stream and of course give me a follow over at instagram.com slash lee.mustang if you want to come and see uh what i'm adding to my game collection over time i updated it earlier this week to include a lot of the stuff that i had recently picked up so go ahead and give me a look over there and give me some likes of course and if you're watching this over at youtube.com slash mustang let me know what you guys think in the comments down below subscribe to my channel to help it grow click the little bell icon to be in the know and I will see you guys in the next stream. Until then, guys, take care.